Yo, so we back in here for another edition of your mother. And I got a story about Meg Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj that's going to be up there on Rumble. It was whack, so I ain't even going to talk about it. But this, Ray Benzino is going at the neck of Eminem. Now, Eminem put out a diss song called Doomsday Part 2, where he claimed that he couldn't go at the neck of Benzino, amongst other things. It was trash. I listened to it three times. I wanted to like it because I like battle rappers. I like, I'm not even going to front. I used to like some of the earlier Eminem. But he's washed now. In a turn of events, Benzino drops a record called Vittorious. I'm going to let y'all listen to the shit and come back with the commentary. Yo, Eminem should be called Skittles, sweet ass motherfucker. Candy ass Eminem, bitch ass feminine. Maddie like melanin. On volume turned up again. Oh shit, here we go. Benzino versus Jim Crow. Know a custy when I see one. How many times you overdose? Cracker on crack, who rap? I hate black in the show. Invade our culture, then insult us. Time you get exposed. Little ho, this Mariah, Christina, Michael, and Brit. What kind of fuck go to war with people dancing and singing? Don't fuck with 50. Keep it a buck, you ain't tough Your baby mom can get a bag like how Cassie did pump If they read your lyrics in the court like they did Young Thug From the drugs, chopping her up Corpse in the trunk, you a punk Plan my funeral, please, you shoot who? You who? Square ain't even go circle the block for proof And the truth, my daughter had a life that I never had I'm probably more Boston George than America's dad But I provided Food, clothes, gifts kept y'all excited Now you let the industry really lynch, keep us divided But back when I got indicted, in and out of Caught fighting, you was in a pretty home with something foreign to ride in. Of course, he'll tell you hate your father, he could never find his trailer park swine bitch. Shit, you're miserable when you're lonely, and we think that they cloned you. You look weird, don't care how much just for men they put on you. Never seen with a girl, never seen with a bitch, but got a song. What if I was gay with join the Lucas? I'm done. So, y'all got to listen to that. Benzin don't kill that nigga. Now, a lot of people under the age of 30. I've never heard of Eminem's battle with Benzino, right? Probably never heard the diss songs. Probably never heard the diss songs that Benzino threw at Eminem back in the early two nine, uh, 2000s. Hell, probably not, never even heard of all the diss songs that Eminem threw at Benzino. That's how much of dick eaters that a lot of these Eminem stands are. He questions whether that nigga is tough because you just battle... People that's known for singing, like Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, Justin Timberlake, Michael Jackson, that don't really count. That's sucker shit. The last person that he went at was Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon. Benzino went at his neck in the 2000s, and I ain't gonna lie, as lyrically simple as Benzino is, he got the job done. He's on the list of MCs that went up against Eminem, whether they lost or won, they took the approach and they survived. It was him and MGK. But that song, he says that bro never knew his dad. How a circle, how a square gonna circle the block for proof. Like he threw, he kneecapped that nigga. Anybody that says that Eminem killed him on Doomsday 2 is either not a real hip hop fan or choice of hip hop music sucks. Not only that, he further crippled that nigga with like, we never seen you with a girl or a woman. See, you got songs with Jordan Luca called If I Was Gay. Yeah, Eminem got some, uh, he got to work his way out of this one. Not only that, he threw a kneecap about him being an old nigga. I mean, they both old niggas. Benzino's 58 or 56. Eminem is 50, what, 51? Oh, yeah, I tried to, like I said, I tried to listen to Doomsday 2. It was whack. It was, he, he was doing this repetitive, monotone. It was just, he was trying to be creative, but like those days are over, bro. This is 2024. Nobody cares about creativity in hip hop. I mean, we would like to, but that's not why people buy hip hop records for creativity. Don't try doing no new sh now. You want to go up Benzino's neck? You need to use a Slim Shady LP style. That weird ass. How am I going to go at his neck when it's something he doesn't have? It's his ass, bro. Nobody asked for that. It's trash. I don't know if you cater into your white audience, but yeah, no, nah, hip hop heads wasn't feeling that. But they're gonna feel this record. In any event, for all you stands that disagree with me, leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think. I think that Benzino's effort to diss Eminem was a damn good one. And I know good hip hop. And I'm not gonna take nothing away from Eminem. But within the last like 15 years, he been a slouch. In any event, I'm out. 
Oh yeah, I'm eating you niggas. But subscribe, turn the notifications on, like, comment, and share, and I'm out.